So, you have to ask yourself, what happens when you let a guy that normally doesn't drive a Jeep lay out a route for Jeeps? Yeah, I'll come back and we'll find out because that's exactly what happened or is happening. And uh, <laughs> we'll see if I know what I'm doing. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. Um, so, basic synopsis of what this video is going to be about. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's actually Saturday morning. Really stupid early. It's like 6 18 in the morning. So, YouTuber weekend. Bill says, let's go do something Memorial Day weekend. Three day weekend. He said, I hate not to do something. A lot of the guys are still recovering from their trip to, um, well, their Jeeps are still recovering to running the Badge of Honor trails. Bill came out on the good side of it, and another guy came out on the good side of it, and they want to do something. They want to get out and ride. So Bill says, since you've gotten good at using Gaia, you have a subscription, why don't you lay us out a trail or a route? I said, okay. Uh, so I did and that's what we're doing uh, the route that we're going to do first thing this morning is 30 miles long but first thing we got to do is get there I got to get there I got to get the bills um, and then um, make the drive we're going to start at the um, midway point of land between the lakes so we're driving up to Katie's Kentucky and from there uh, we'll see either a hero or a zero after no i'm just kidding but so we'll see how the route that i came up with works out should have two cemeteries and some cool lake views at some point so we will see be back So after bouncing off a couple of um, service roads that were just paved and graveled, we finally find dirt and water and mud and all that other good stuff that goes along with uh, the four service roads when you get above 200s and 300s in land between the lakes. I will warn you, this video gets quite lengthy, but there was a lot to see and there was a lot we did and we want to share it all with you. So strap in, buckle up, and hang on. This area did not disappoint at all. Uh, very beautiful scenery all the way through here and really, really enjoyed the drive through the woods. Um, these four service roads, even even the 200s and 100s, well, the 100s that I drive on, you don't miss scenery at all whatsoever. It was just gorgeous.
Okay, this is Bald Knob. An elevation of 570 feet is one of the highest points in most remote locations at LBL. At one time, an observation tower was located nearby. The Bald Knob Fire Tower was built in 1937 by the CCC on Kentucky Woodlands National Wildlife Refuge. It was managed by the State Forest Division. So we found our first cemetery that wasn't actually marked, and it's called the Oakley Cemetery. So we're gonna look around, see if we see anything, and get back on the trail. That's heavy. It's rotten. Look how rotten it is. Yeah, I know. It'd be nice if it broke. Ah, it's hitting another tree. I was afraid of that. Yeah, all right. Stand back and see. There you go. Something's breaking. Yeah. Do it again, Bill. There it goes. And what's crazy is the Jeep's locked down, the tires Yeah, I know, it's just slide the tires on the ground. <laughs> so what we're doing is we've got a snatch block hooked to that tree over there, trying to pull that tree out of the road. I think I've got it there, And we are. Uh, It's moving the Jeep. Moving the tree. Oh, is Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot. Watch that tree. Whoop. So, move tree, go forward. Not around, right? <laughs> That's right. Not Onward. Not. Okay, so rule of thumb, don't go around, move the trees out of the way, and go forward. So 
We kept on down to the trail and we headed over to Honker Lake and Bay. As we pull in, you will see the bay is actually to the left and to the right is the lake. There's a man-made dam that's just up in front of us. And we drove to that point, turned around and decided, you know what, it's time to go eat some lunch. So we headed back to town at this point. All right, guys, so we took a break from the trail for a little while. We came up here to Farrell's, a little building behind us. <laughs> Man, it's some of the awesome, most awesome bacon cheeseburgers I've ever had. But anyway, we're fixing to get back to the trail, ride some more, do some more. Got a couple things else we want to look at, and uh, that's probably about it for the day. But we got a muddy. Let's see. We've got a little mud. Oh, I gotta show y'all. I need to meet Rocky. That's Doug's dog. Where's Rocky? Rocky. There's Rocky. Hi, Rocky. Hi, Rocky. <laughs> Rocky wants a burger. Once we got through with the lunch, we headed back to Land Between the Lakes and tried to hit Trail 350. It's still closed, so don't know why, but it is. So we hit Trail 351. Uh, the hardest part about it is getting on the trail and getting back off of it on the asphalt. We found another cemetery that was off of Trail 351 and this one was quite large it was huge uh, very old cemeteries you'll see some of the pictures and the video of it it was quite old so as we end out this video we head back through trail 351 and as we go up through here it looks pretty i mean it doesn't look that funky it's as we get through this little section here you'll see what we had to come through in the beginning um, to get to the cemetery and to actually to the bay that's on the other side you can actually take a another service road that's in the 100s down to that bay uh, it was in my last video I'll put that video up but as you see we get to this and this is what we saw when we first came down is just wide open with water and we're looking and we're saying well the trail goes across here and it does um, as you see we go back up this little ridge here and it's actually into a dry creek bed and proceed back up trail 351 um, the crazy thing about 351 there's not a lot of okay as i was saying there's not a lot of um real big obstacles on 351 it's just really tight quarters it's slapping you in the face the whole way but anyways guys i appreciate you watching the video uh we had a great time up there we were up there all day uh willing we willed hard i appreciate bill and doug going um sacrificing our jeeps once again i appreciate everybody watching subscribing and sharing the videos until the next time be prepared We'll see you on the next one.